Osama bin Laden killed by a U.S. hit squad, sparking White House celebrations. We can say to those families who have lost loved ones to al-Qaeda's terror, justice has been done. Great escape. Secrets revealed on board Tony Mockbell's luxury yacht. And dramatic video as Melbourne police shoot a man dead. This is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. Nearly a decade after the deadly September 11th terrorist attacks, America has struck back, finally killing al-Qaeda mastermind Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. US Bureau Chief Mike Amor joins us now. Mike, how did they get him? Peter, President Barack Obama ordered the hit on bin Laden in Pakistan. A small team of US Special Forces soldiers engaged in a gun battle at his hideout, killing him. Even before it was official, crowds gathered outside the White House celebrating the death of this century's most hated man. USA! USA! Then, just before midnight, President Obama delivered the news Americans had long wanted to hear. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. The 54-year-old's death came 10 years after he orchestrated the September 11 attacks, killing almost 3,000 people. After an exhaustive search, the US finally got a lead on his whereabouts last August. Confirmation came on Friday. He was hiding in a large compound in the Pakistan city of Abbottabad, 100 kilometres north of Islamabad. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden, took custody of his body. The raid happened without the knowledge of the Pakistani government. Around 1.30 a.m., four U.S. helicopters swept in, two dropping into the compound. 20 to 25 U.S. Navy SEALs jumped out and opened fire. Bin Laden fired back and was cut down, along with his son, two couriers and a woman used as a shield by one of the men. Bin Laden was reportedly shot in the head. His body was taken to Afghanistan, where DNA tests were carried out. His eldest son is also believed to be among two others killed. But there are reports one of four helicopters used by U.S. Navy SEALs in the attack crashed. All American TV networks carried the announcement live. Osama bin Laden is dead. Outside the White House, the crowd swelled to thousands. People also gathered in New York, the city still carrying the scars of that awful day. And I never thought it would give me a feeling of closure. I, I, I didn't believe that there could be closure because my husband's remains were never found. 343 brother firefighters that uh, lost their, their lives that day. So happy and proud of our nation. Fearing the death may prompt terrorist attacks, American embassies and bases around the world have been put on alert as the White House warns the war on terrorism is not over. On nights like this one, we can say to those families who have lost loved ones to al-Qaeda's terror, Justice has been done. In the United States, Mike Amor, 7 News. Osama bin Laden had been the Western world's face of evil for more than a decade. The son of a billionaire builder whose quest for change through terrorism turned him into a mass murderer. Never has a man been more recognisable, but yet so hard to find. Osama bin Laden was known to the world and chased by much of it. There's an old poster out west, as I recall, that said, wanted, dead or alive. Born in Riyadh to a wealthy Saudi father, at university bin Laden was interested in religion and writing poetry. Some say he gained a civil engineering degree, others claim he never finished college. Either way, at 22 he was in Afghanistan, opposing the Soviet invasion, using his inheritance to fund Muslim fighters. <laughs> By the late 80s, Al-Qaeda was formed and was linked to a string of attacks, including the bombing of the USS Coal in Yemen. It was a jet. I couldn't believe my eyes. Even before planes slammed into the World Trade Center, the US had authorized deadly force to capture bin Laden and he'd survived some near misses. 
After September 11, he became number one on the FBI's top 10 terrorist list, a $50 million price on his head. The intensified hunt focused on Afghanistan's rugged eastern border. We will not allow ourselves to be terrorized by somebody who thinks they can hit and hide in some cave somewhere. At first, he denied responsibility for September 11, but after three years, this video showed the destroyer gloating over his terrible creation. We calculated in advance the number of casualties from the enemy who would be killed. The search went on with regular reports he was already dead from kidney failure or typhoid, even assassination. We must take out Osama bin Laden and his lieutenants if we have them in our sights. In his last audio message, he vowed to fight the U.S. across the world. It got him first. Chris Ma, 7 News. Julia Gillard says bin Laden's death is a small measure of justice as Australia's military bases, embassies, airports and ports go on alert. Experts fear it's not a knockout blow and are worried about revenge attacks. It's one death the Australian government will not mourn. I welcome the death of Osama bin Laden. I welcome this news. Speaking on behalf of the nation, but mostly the families of the 10 Australians killed on September 11, 2001, the 88 in Bali the following year, and seven since in London, Bali again and Mumbai. Justice has been done. But the Prime Minister warned that while Osama bin Laden is dead, terrorism is not. Al-Qaeda is not finished. Travel warnings were upgraded for Australians overseas to avoid mass gatherings and demonstrations. We have uh, not upgraded security alerts in Australia. Security expert Dr Michael McKinley says the public announcement and celebrations make the West and its allies bigger targets. He says it was stupid. I think it is stupid because I think the immediate consequences could well be borne by the people of Pakistan. Julia Gillard was informed of bin Laden's death while conducting a cabinet meeting inside here this morning almost a decade after Prime Minister John Howard witnessed the September 11 attacks in America. The death of uh, Osama bin Laden has removed from the world a man of unspeakable evil. John Howard and George Bush wanted Osama bin Laden dead or alive and now their successors have got him on a day political differences were set aside. No one shouldn't rejoice the death of a fellow human being but it is an exciting moment and a day the world won't forget I believe each of us will always remember where we were when we heard of the death of Osama bin Laden Mark Riley 7 News and bin Laden's death has also been welcomed by many loved ones of Australians who were killed on September the 11th but not everyone agrees some wanted to see the terrorist mastermind face trial when the first of the World Trade Centre towers was hit, Australian businessman Renzo Bevanetto was shopping in the building's basement. He was one of thousands who ran for their lives. When the second plane hit, it was just a big ball of fire and you could heat, feel the heat on your face just across the road there and I think everybody just panicked and started to take off from running up the streets. Despite surviving the horror of 9-11, Renzo was not celebrating today's news, believing bin Laden should have gone on trial. Ideally, I would have liked for him to be caught and, and if he was guilty of uh, what happened, to be brought to justice. Ten Australians died that day. Exactly 13 months later, 88 Aussies were among 202 killed when terrorists struck in Bali and survivors believe those attacks were inspired by bin Laden. This guy's the main perpetrator in terms of what happened to me. And he's obviously had a lot to do with killing a lot of people and, uh, yeah, he probably has got what he deserved, I suppose. It's uh, great that uh, the US have finally got him. I know, you know they've got a long memory and they finally brought him to justice. Australian terror victims aren't so sure bin Laden's death has ended his reign of terror with fears of retaliation. So my concern, and I suppose everybody else in the world, would be well, when's that going to happen and is that going to happen? Proof terrorism is already outliving the most evil of its masterminds. Adam Walters, 7 News.